hello my dear students we are still proceeding and i hope you are enjoying the videos if you enjoy my videos then kindly visit my second channel and subscribe it is tutor francis that's the name just subscribe to that channel for me any subscribers over there Tutor Francis, you over of Brazil, and you score great marks in your exams. So just search this on YouTube and hit the subscribe button for me. If you do that, I'm very happy. So now let us proceed with question 31. Which of the following statements is true about perimeter of the square and the rectangle no this is the square and this is the rectangle so we need to calculate their perimeters to see what we can see about them the perimeter is the distance around the square so we add all the side lengths and the side lengths are 12 meters each so we add in all the same as 1 2 3 4 so it is the same as 4 times 12 and that will give you 48 meters so the perimeter of the square is 48 meters how about the perimeter of the rectangle so perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 9 plus 16 plus 9 plus 16 which is adding a distance all around this is also 9 eh? and this one too is 16 so adding all around will give us that so this is 12 and this is also 12 that's how can we add this so let's add all this you know we have two of the nines and two of the sixteens and that will give you we factor the two out to get two into nine plus sixteen doing it like this will make the addition easier for you nine plus sixteen is, is 25 two times of 25 is 50 meters so the perimeter of the rectangle is 50 meters so you know that 50 is greater than 48 so it means that perimeter of the square a is less than perimeter of b so option d will be the correct choice so let us look at the item 22 3800 millimeters expressed in meters is 0.38 3.838380 which of them is the correct answer so to get that we recall that thousand millimeters make one meter so to convert millimeters to meters we divide by thousand therefore 3800 millimeters is equal to 3800 over thousand meters now let's simplify dividing by thousand means we are moving the decimal point up or back three times so it will be here the, sorry yeah that's it it will be moved back three times so it will be between the three and the eight be the same as 3.800 meters now um, this the same as 3.8 meters therefore the correct answer is option b how about 33 distance around the edge of a circular pond is 88 meters the radius in meters is so we need to calculate the radius given the circumference and uh, yeah, we're given a circumference so we know that the circumference of a circle is given by 2 pi r so substituting the circumference 88 we get 88 is equal to 2 pi r now we can divide by 2 pi so that we can find the radius now we cancel out this and we are left with r equal 88 over 2 pi so checking the options you know that we don't have to go further so the correct answer will be d now let's look at 34 item 34 refers to the following figure which shows a triangle resting on a square so this is a square you know the square has all size equal so this also be five centimeters 
as well as this five centimeters um, then this way to five centimeters now the length of one side of the square is five centimeters and the height of the triangle is four centimeters what is the total area of the figures in centimeter square so total area of the figure of the area of the square plus the area of the triangle we know how to find area of a square by squaring the one of the side lengths then area of a triangle is half base times the perpendicular height so substituting the side length which is five then substituting the base the base of the triangle is one of the sides of the square so that will give us that's how can we got a five and times the perpendicular height which is four so we can cancel this this will go here two two times five is ten so we get five squared twenty five plus ten which is thirty five therefore the correct choice is thirty five centimeter that is the total area of the figure the correct choice is supposed to be a let's see whether we can solve the thirty five also can we yeah we have this the volume in centimeter cube of a cube of h three centimeters is so we know the volume of a cube is the side length cube <laughs> the volume resembles the name so the volume of a cube is side length cube therefore we got one of the side lengths to be three centimeters. So we just substitute into the formula. That's cube it. Cubing it means we are multiplying it three times. And that will give us 27 centimeter cube. The correct choice is 27, which is option C. What about 36? Can we do this also? This looks a bit difficult, but we can still do it. Let's see. We have the, the area of a rectangle is 53.6 centimeters square. If the length is multiplied by 4 and the width is halved, the area will then be. So, initially, let's say that the rectangle has an area of 53, which was given to us 53.6. So, we know the area of a rectangle is given by length by width. That length times width is equal to this. That's why we're given. So if the length is multiplied by 4, then we have this. Multiply the length by 4 to get the new length to be 4 times the old length. Then multiply the width by half because it is halved. Then you get the new width to be equal to half the old width. Now we can multiply the new dimensions, length times width, but we know that this it is equal to this and this is equal to this so we just fix them in the, the formula so let's see 4 2 goes here 2 times therefore 2 times LW but we know LW have the value which is 53.6 how we got that and if you must substitute in it you get you get us this multiplied by 2 you know 3.6 will give you 7.2 and 2 times 50 will give us 100. That will give us 100 plus 7.2, which is 107.2. So we can use that trick to get a multiplication easy for you. Therefore, the correct answer now is option C 37. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do it. We can use different methods. But I'm going to show only two methods in this video. So on leaving Trinidad, a time on the pilot's watch was 23 hours. When he arrived at his destination in the same time zone, on the next day, his watch showed 3 o'clock hours. How many hours did the flight take? So we know that the first for the first method, we use the final hour, subtract the initial hour by the final. So the final is 3 hours and initial is 23 hours. So that will give you negative 20. So we are going to add the clock hours. You know clock hours is 12. So we keep adding the clock hours until we get the least positive hours. So 
if you do that we get this negative 20 plus 12 will be negative 8 add 12 again to get 4 therefore it's 4 hours and then another method is this you know that 24 hours makes a day so to get how many hours you spend the same day subtract 24 from 23 to get one hour then on the next day it showed three hours which so means three hours into the next day and so if you add three hours to one hour we get four hours so the flight took four hours now let's say item 38 can we do this also yes let's see we know the area of we are supposed to find the area of trapezium pqrs above and the area of a trapezium is sum of the base so these are the bases this and this times the perpendicular height which is five so we just do the substitution eight plus eighteen times five now let's multiply eight let's add eight by eighteen to get twenty six out of twenty six will be thirty so we get 13 by 5 and that will be equal to 65 centimeters squared. Therefore, the correct option is B. Look at this one. Item 39 refer to the following histogram, which shows the number of children aged 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 who took part in a survey. Um so this is the histogram what is the model age so we look for the bar with the highest height and this is that bar corresponding to the age seven so the model age is seven model age is seven so this is the correct answer now let's look at the final question for this particular video how many children took part in the survey so to find the number of children who took part in the survey are the frequencies so this bar is having a frequency of three this is h4 is having a free appearing three times h5 is appearing four times then h6 is appearing two times then h7 is appearing five times then h8 is appearing only ones and adding all of them add the frequencies 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 this will give you 7 this will give you 7 which is 14 and 14 plus 1 will give you 15 so the correct answer is this So, if you want me to continue to complete this before you start your papers, kindly subscribe to my second channel. So, second channel is once again Tutor Francis. I wish you all the best in your exams. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.